Hello, my name is Sans Ritchie. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for Amprobe. I've been working in the field of test and measurement for 26 years. Now we're outside in a parking lot in a typical application where I have my receiver and my transmitter. So there, one of the ways that we can use this is simply having this induce the signal into the ground. So by turning on this unit and selecting my frequency, in this case I'm going to select uh, 481 hertz. So I would go to this unit, select the same frequency so it matches, and then as I look for a wire, my indicator will actually tell me. What I do is I saturate it. I look for the 9999 and that, then that means it's like at full gain and that seems to be, and then if you get away from it, it drops off to like 400, 200, so you know you're not on the cable. Uh, Here's the audio indication. When the cable is in that direction from where we are, we get a solid beep. So you can see like where the bar, right here the bar is showing that the cable's over here someplace. As I get closer to the cable, it actually gets quiet when I'm right on the cable, but then if I have to go in the other direction, it gives me a beep. And in this case, it has a broken arrow, which says that direction is a, is a broken beep, or beep, 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 beep. When I go in this direction, then it gets solid. And then when we're right on the cable, you want it to be like there. Now, because this is putting the signal into the ground, we want to start looking about 15 feet away from where the unit is, because it will pick up the signal on just about anything. So now I'm assuming, you know, part of this is thinking about where the wire might be running. If I'm not aware of where the wire is going, I can use my directional capability and walk and looking at my, I still have 999, but in this case it's telling me the wire is that way. So I would turn in that direction, walk towards the wire, and then now it's locked on right in the middle where you see the 999 indication and it's telling me I write on the wire. If I move in this direction, you see how the bar goes in the other direction and says I'm going away from the wire. So by keeping that black bar right in the middle and having the highest power level I can get, in this case we've saturated it at 9999, I can walk and it'll actually keep me right on track for that wire and we can track that wire going through the parking lot. As you look at the display, I'm walking right down the wire. If I go in this direction, it pegs it in that way and it kind of brings me back on course. If I go too far, it's going to say you've went too far, you need to bring back. Now all of a sudden I lost my signal. If I've lost my signal, I think at this point the wire has, has taken a turn. In order to find that wire, I need to kind of search around. Oh, and all of a sudden, I've okay, now I'm back on track. I've picked up the signal, so the wire's going in this direction now. So you always want to keep a, an eye on the indicator to make sure that you're, you have it right in the center and that you're tracing the wire in the direction that it's going. For more information, please contact your T-Equipment Test and Measurement Specialist.